following video is mostly a true story. Hello, this is Joe, and welcome back to the channel. In tonight's video, we're going to be going over the Orion constellation and the nebula around it, and also including the Rosette Nebula. And the... Hey, what's that sound? You guys hear that? Why is the human still on the ship? He's been helping us collimate the mirrors on our telescope that we bought on Rigel 7 last time we were there. I don't care. Get him back to his planet now. Oh wow. What a weird dream. So all kidding aside, uh, the real reason that I haven't posted the video in three months is just because I've been swamped, been super busy. Uh, it's as simple as that, really. Uh, in September of last year, I retired from my job that I had for 25 years. I actually took an early retirement, and I've been in the IT field for 30 years, and I was going to go back at the beginning of this year into the IT field at another place. And I decided not to, and it was because during uh, the holidays, I started making some cutting boards and some cheese slicer boards and stuff like that for friends and family for Christmas presents. And they were a huge hit, and it turns out that a lot of other people um, that aren't friends and family wanted them as well, so I started making them and selling them. And I've kind of turned this uh, woodworking hobby into... A small business and uh, it takes a lot of work to to get a small business off the ground and uh, it's filled up all of my time and my main goal was was to retire early and spend more time doing astrophotography and more time with family it didn't turn out quite that way I, I have actually spent a lot more time with family which is super nice uh, really enjoying that aspect of it all and the stress level's not there really anymore, uh, you know, other than the stresses of, of owning a small business all of a sudden. And, uh, but it, I've been having a ball. It's, it's been a blast. And uh, if you want to support me, uh, check out my webpage. I'm going to leave it in the description below. And uh, you can check out some of the stuff that I, I offer. And uh, who knows, maybe you'd want something. I, it, it's really not astro related, so I'm not going to sit here and try and plug my, my business. But I, it's part of the explanation, so I thought I'd put it in here. Uh, a good friend of mine, Simon, from Simon's Astro, had actually went to my website and, and looked at the video that I made of making a cutting board. And, and really it was just for the, the website. And he loved it, and he said that I should put it on my Astro channel, but uh, maybe I'll, I'll put a couple clips or something, but I do appreciate that, Simon. And I wanted to thank everyone who's reached out and wondered where I've been and how I'm doing and if everything was okay, and it is, and I'm having a, a good time, and I do want to start making more videos, more Astro-related videos. I haven't uh, stopped doing astrophotography by any means. Uh, I do have uh, a few shots that I want to share with you at the end of this video. Uh, it's been really bad. The weather here has been pretty bad for Astro uh, the last three months anyway. I think I've had about three imaging sessions, uh, two with the Z81 and uh, the final one with my Edge HD8. And I am still working on processing the data from the edge, so I probably won't have that in this video. But I'll show you uh, Orion and the Rosette Nebula that I got with the Z81 uh, between the months of December and January. Uh, like I said, it's, it's been real hit and miss, and I haven't had a lot of clear nights. So I don't have a whole lot of data to share, but what I do, I will. Uh, an interesting thing that happened to me was uh, I've been using the Z81 now for four years. And this is the first time uh, I've had back focus issues. Uh, I, you know, I have done the same thing for four years with this scope. And now all of a sudden I can't get the back focus correct. So 
kind of strange and it's all on me. I just haven't had the opportunity, the time really, but also the clear skies to sit out here all night and try and figure it out, you know, what's going on. So unfortunately in the images that I did capture, I do have some oblong stars and there really isn't much I could do about it. Um, maybe in post-processing, but I'll probably just leave them the way they are. And then I'll have to figure out later this spring what's going on with that. Uh, right now it's galaxy season, or for me, I, I've started galaxy season, so I've got my Edge HD8 on. Uh, currently I've got the 2600mm Pro and the reducer on it, which isn't really the best mix in the world, at least in my opinion. Uh, but I haven't had time to shoot uh, flats and, and reshoot all my darks with the 294. So with the 2600, I already have all that. Um, I do need to grab a few flats for my images the, this last go around, uh, but I'll get those sooner than later. And then I'll probably be able to use those for a few more images. Uh, but what I plan to do soon is to remove the reducer and put the 294 on and go for some really smaller uh, galaxies or hopefully get a, a larger shot of them. I know I'll be imaging at f10, so I'll need a lot more time and I'll need no moon and clear skies. That's that's the hard part right now. That seems to be the hard part. Uh, a lot of times we'll have clear skies when the moon's out pretty bright. And so that's just the way it goes, I suppose. So I do have quite a few videos planned for the future. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back to averaging a video a week like I had been for the last couple years. Uh, I looked back and for the last two years I had 109 videos to date. I think I have 122 total. And that's a little bit more than one video a week. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue doing that and run a business at the same time. But I do plan on making a lot more videos than one every three months. So I appreciate everybody. I really do. I miss talking to you guys. I know all I'm doing is talking to a camera. But in reality, once I upload this video and post it, uh, I know I'm talking to a lot of people. And I miss the comments and I miss talking to people uh, in the Astro community. So hopefully that's going to change. And I'm really excited to get back into this. So we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to leave you with Orion and the Rosette Nebulas with some funky stars. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video.